Hello ladies and gentlemen, myself Manish and I welcome you to a new video of Technical Jahaji. Recently I made a video about a couple of months back that how you can watch the Airtel TV right now onto your PC. But what if if you have a smart TV or you are using the TV with the Amazon Fire TV sticks. The trick which I am going to show you right now with the help of this trick you can watch the Airtel TV right now free of course right now into your smart TV. You don't need any DTH, you don't need any cable connection. You can watch the, all the channels which are available on the Airtel TV if you are a subscriber. So watch this trick case and how you can be made useful by the help of this trick. So let me just straight you, take you to my TV screen. So to watch the Air TV right now onto your smart TV or the TV which we are using with the Amazon Fire TV sticks, you need to install the Firefox right now into your smart TV or into your Amazon Fire TV sticks. No matter what are the browser it, when you want to use the Firefox or Chrome, it's up to you. But whatever browser you have available right now, you need to open it. Right now, I'm going to open up this Firefox. So you can able to see the Firefox is opening up right now. And over the address bar over there, you need to search for Airtel TV. So I'm just searching it over here, Airtel, which you can see, Airtel TV. And I'm going to do the next. So it's going to open up the google.com into my TV. The same kind of google.com which you're able to see in your TV, whether it is in your other things, you can see it over here. Right now, this app is also available. You can install it into your TV or into your Android smartphone. This app, I will review it later on. So beneath that, you need to go and search for the airtelxtreme.in. This is the same sort of website which I've shown you right now. With the help of this uh, website, you don't need any sort of app or you don't even need any sort of any kind of any third party software right now installed into your Fire TV sticks or into your Android device. And suppose I want to watch the Z News, I will simply click on it and I can simply play this button. So as soon as I press the play button, it will ask for my number. Let me enter my number over here. After pressing your number over here, you need to press the continue. An OTP will be sent to your number. Mm -hmm. So my OTP has came. Let me just enter my OTP over here. One of the drawback of this TV is that after every pressing on the single digit, you need to go back and then click on the second. Let's show you again. So this is the second. And I'm going to verify it. I'm not playing any sound right now, but let me just play this TV over here and you can see the live TV has been played. Even if I want, I can simply zoom on. Let me just simply over, go over here. So all my channel I can see it right now. Even I can get this app on the Google Play Store and on the App Store. The channels I'm not showing you right now because I don't want any sort of a copyright strike, whether it is a Z News or whether it's sort of a 10 sports, I don't want any sort of my copyright strike right now on my channel. Even if you want to play movies, you can do that as well. So here's the language and if you go to the home, there you can see various sort of movies which you can play right now into your smart TV. So again, a good sort of a workaround if you don't want sort of any sort of app right now into your TV. So if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for such interesting videos. And I see you all in the next one.